What's going on everybody? Dan with Right Now Powder Coating here and we are going to do a quick video for those of you guys who have been kind enough to trust me uh, and go out and purchase one of these Electron guns. I'm going to kind of give you guys the cliff notes on how to throw this thing together and some quick setup tips. Uh, if you have not bought one but have been thinking about it because we've sent a lot of quotes out there. We've sold a few. Um, but we've sent a ton of quotes. If you're still on the fence, you may want to watch this just to kind of get a more up close and personal view of this gun. Um, again, it's a fantastic unit for the price. So let's get out in the shop and uh, we'll go over how to put it together real fast. It's already together, but we're going to give you some tips and then some setup um, information. So let's get at it. All right, so here you can see we've got the whole gun assembled. Obviously, we've been using it for a while. Um, when you guys unpackage this, the best thing to do is lay everything out. Um, you'll have like the base, the middle, the top, the computer, or the PC, or whatever you want to call it, the um, pump, hoses, all that kind of stuff. It'll just be packed in there. They actually do a great job packing it. Um, so you'll want to take all that out, set it all down, make sure you got everything. Um, basically, on the back here, you're not going to have these panels installed here um, or this uh, air filter regulator. Um, so you're going to have to do all that. So the base is complete. Um, you've got some hoses and stuff that will be attached and then some that won't. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to attach the midsection here to the base. Um, there's some hoses you're going to want to pull out. This filter here, it's got this little ring on it. You'll take that off, you'll put it into this bracket on the back of this plate, and then you'll screw it back on, and then you can feed all your hoses. Uh, you've got a couple wires here. Um, if I could get the ground out of the way. So you've got two wires here, and then your air lines. They're going to come out. You've got H4, H2. It doesn't matter where they go, but you're going to plug those into there. And then this is H1 you're going to plug into the third one. So that's all three. Your H1 is a separate hose. It's not attached to anything in there. So you're going to attach that to there and then it's going to come up to your main air. And I'm jumping ahead, but uh, you can kind of jump around as you do this. Um, you've got this really long hose if you bought the purge valve. Um, that's going to actually go up to your purge valve here. And then you've got um, these two hoses that are actually controlling a uh, part in here so that's as far as air and stuff so that's all that is again you're going to attach the midsection to the bottom you can get all these wires out and then you can cover this up on the top unit before you put in your controller you want to go ahead and install your gun hanger here and here there's two bolts on the inside um, just tighten them up wrench them down and that should all be pretty good there and then you can slide your unit in. There's two screws that go in, and that's about it. So then you're going to run all your air lines. Your air lines, this is your one for your tip that goes to your gun. You can actually see the drawing there. And then you've got a blue for your uh, supplemental air, and then you've got red for your main air, which actually creates your venturi. So these hoses come very long. Um, if you look at our first video where we kind of put this thing to use, these were huge. So what I like to do is get it all set up, tie it down the way you want it, and then you just push these orange parts in and you can pull the hose out. And then you can cut it square, shorten it up, and then put it back in. You just push until you kind of feel it click, and that's it. This is your ground wire. This is not for grounding parts. This is for grounding your gun to protect the unit. So what we do is we usually clip it to our booth, which is then grounded to our ground rod. Um, that will just go on here. You screw that off, put it on. You're gonna put your power source in here for your outlet. And then you're gonna take your gun hose or wire and put it in your gun slot. The aux down here is actually one of the wires that comes out of this unit and that's your vibrator motor power source. And then your purge, if you got the purge, comes out of here too. So that's the power of the purge. Um, so that's pretty much it on the back. 
it, it's kind of it looks more complicated than it is because you'll have all these hoses and stuff coming out at you not a big deal if you've got the purge uh, module you're gonna actually put that between the pickup tube and the pump we don't really use it because we like to take everything apart and clean it out um, thoroughly so the other thing you would like to do is hang up your gun on the hanger you're gonna pull the hose the powder hose this is a um, rinse air for your tip and then this is your power cord I like to drag them before I hook them up to the back of there straight out just get it nice and straight and then electrical tape all of the hoses together and everything it just kind of makes it nice and neat and puts them all together and then as you come back to the unit and you have wires and hoses separate you'll kind of do it that way so you, here you can see we've got our airlines put together and then because our powder hose comes in for the pickup we put them together there but then they separate and go their uh, their different ways but then it does pick up some of the gun the wire and the rinse air on on that side too so just kind of get it nice and organized that way you're not always tripping over wires we could actually shorten um, the h3 up quite a bit too you can see this is the one other tube that comes out of inside the middle section this is for your uh, fluidizing air it is a smaller diameter h three and it just goes right there so these are really simple to set up it's not a big deal it may take you a half hour or so if you've never done one um, and then you'll be ready to go so we'll go over a quick settings on this thing real quick um, as far as when you want to go and spray so once you plug it in I'll kind of show you the startup here these units start up pretty good you got your power button here automatically brings it up starts loading it and that's pretty quick compared to what i'm used to with my gema um, i think you're going to come up into one of these settings so they have three presets you've got your flat panel you've got a recoat and then what i like to call the faraday or the complex part setting i don't like the air settings i don't like the four and the 60 here so what we do is we'll go to let's say we're in the complex part and we want to shoot something like our boxes we'll actually come in here and then we'll adjust our air settings down you just select it it turns yellow and you can dial it back down i feel like they have them pretty high that's a lot of air coming out we like to shoot about here at the three five three five keep them even um, based on what powder you're using you may want to change that you may not um, and then in other videos we'll show you how to set these so that you can just go to a preset like we have um, setting five as our unit and it's at four now but that's because we've actually dialed them back a little bit we were spraying a lot a lot of powder um, the other thing you may want to use is this menu button here um, to correct your air at the tip to keep your electrode clean we like to set that about two so every time you set a new recipe click into there make sure your air settings right as you can see we've put about 34 trigger hours on the unit so that's not how long it's been on that's how long we've actually had the trigger pulled um, you'll see it takes quite a while to get to that number um, here's your brightness for the um, screen which to be honest with you we don't ever mess with we just leave it at 10 I don't know why you would ever need to mess with it um, the other setting if you push this one more time is you can actually put part counters in here um, say you want to do this as your electrode um, obviously if you don't do anything it takes you back out so you can actually crank this up and start counting down time till you replace your electrode we haven't messed with it yet because we don't know how long it's gonna take so right now we're just going off this when we're like okay our electrode needs replacing you can set that timer same with like your injector and that sort of thing so that's all you really need to know to get going. I suggest playing with your air a little bit. Um, this number here is your total air into the gun, and this is a percentage that's actually going to, and I, if it's the same as the game, which I believe it is, it's actually going to your supplemental air. So it's what's pushing the powder out of the gun. Your red line is picking up the powder, and it's pushing it, but your blue line is the main source for pushing it out of the gun. So this is going to be 40% of that total air is helping it get out the gun. So you can play with that, crank it all the way up, see what it does, crank it all the way down, see what it does, and you can start to kind of figure out where you need to be for what powder you're spraying. Again, we like to start about there. 
and um, go from that point if we need more or less if the gun's not picking it up and it's kind of sputtering it's because you don't have enough air or if it's just blowing it out like crazy you probably have too much air unless that's what you want to do you want to paint fast so play around with those the last thing i want to mention is the fluidizing air in our first video our second video on this gun i think we talked about this a little bit um, when you're fluidizing you can look in the bag and watch it kind of bubble we noticed that if we cranked it up to the uh, 0.5 bar on there we were having a lot of powder come out of the bag we actually have this thing zip tied around the pickup tube it's not super tight because you got to let a little air out or you blow up the bag uh, but it's tight enough to keep most of that powder down in there so we're running it down here in the red probably two bars below that 0.5 um, but again, just play with it. The dial is really easy. You can just you can pull the trigger, get it vibrating, get the air going, and then you can pull the trigger and and adjust that. It doesn't go on until you pull the trigger, though. So, so that is the quick tips for putting this thing together. I know I ran through that super fast. The main thing is just making sure you get those internal things put on before you tie them all together. You can't really mess this thing up too bad and then those basic settings get get it going spray it down if you have any questions and you bought from me you know how to reach me already um, if you want a price on one of these units because you're still on the fence or if we have quoted you and you want more information or have questions i'm always available just hit me up um, otherwise i think a lot of you guys are going to be getting into these units and you're going to see how great they are um, and if you agree with that, leave comments on my videos so other people know because a lot of people are asking, oh, are they as good as a Gima or is he just saying that type of thing? I'm still using it. I mean, that, that gun's been sitting there for two weeks collecting dust. So um, we like it. So that's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to do a whole video of us putting this thing together sooner or later. I just don't have time. We're so busy right now. Um, and then we also have a sneak peek at another electron product that we bought yes we bought it because we want to try it out because i think it's a good option for some of you guys that have been telling me you don't want a big big system although i think this is a great deal for the money um, we might have something else for you so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't hit that like button it helps us with our algorithms so that we can get more people following us and help all of them so catch you guys on the next one